and I prayed, but no Alan. The father of my babies didn't show up to my baby shower. I'm heartbroken and I'm angry. I'm in a room full of people and they're all here because of me, because of my girls. I still feel all alone. I want to thank you guys so much for coming here today. I am so grateful for every single person that was able to make it. This is one of the most important days of my life. This is the day of my baby shower, my twin girls. I am grateful that you guys are here. Because I didn't think I would standing on the stage by myself, but I have you guys. We love you, baby. We love you, baby. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for my mother, my number one supporter. She's always been there. Days like this is the ones that you really see the people that matter. Is everyone going to the wedding? Yeah, I'm actually one of the bridesmaids. You know them, right? Sierra doesn't know Kendra. It's so phony. Mita, you yes. met Carly, right? Yeah. She used to date Jack too. For real? Oh, OK, Mita, we know about Jack. That man is everywhere. I was at his back. What the But did you tell Kendra that you did that? No. Jack is my friend. I thought it'd be funny and silly. Hello. 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 Now wait. In that moment, he gave her a hug, and his hand went down. And oh, hell no. He whispering in my ear, am I coming back with him? Ladies and gentlemen. Jock is not ready to get married. But you were the sacrificial lamb to determine that? Oh, no. no. Why did you do it? Yeah. So Chino, who is Jock's best friend, been Jock's friend forever. He said, Carly, I just need you to come to Jock's bachelor party. It will make it turn up, like, just surprise him. Jock's behavior at the bachelor party, we all know that's Jock. I've been telling Kendra this for years. He got the key to the city because he put his thing in every slot. Don't you remember what I said? It smells like fish. OK, so Mita, let's compare dates. Around the time that you was dating Jock. 2008, 2009, 2010, 2012, 2014, 2015, what? 2015. 2018. What? 2000 what? Man, shut up, I said the same. 2017, 2019, and it goes, you know what I'm saying? So, Wait, it's 2021? I'm comparing dates with Mita. I'm comparing the timeline, because I'm trying to see, like, when did this man have time to do this? I'm a bridesmaid. Is it 2020? What the is going on? 21 has been a little. 19? 20. Yes. 20 for sure. 20 for sure. How the f I'm gonna be in this girl bridesmaid line. 20 for sure. Why the f y'all even have me at this dinner? Now, hold a minute, because I thought the night was about me and my album 10 and celebrating my success. We might as well be sister wives and this sister wives. Somebody come out with this prank. This gotta be a f joke. We sister wives. I said, what you doing, Jocelyn? Let's go. No, we're going to 
gonna go together. I need a cocktail. Bartender! Hey, baby! I need a cocktail heavy on the cock. Okay, so my son Scrappy has told me to stop drinking. And I have in Atlanta, but I'm here in Miami. And I'm here for Shay. Scrappy family, I was here today. Cost me the out. But I wasn't here for him, I'm here for Shay. So Scrappy's mad at you that you're here right now? Yeah. Months ago, Scrappy and Shay met up in Miami. He and she said they was just friends. Hmm. How do you feel about Shay? I love my baby. You know why? Because she's real. The way they broke up was totally wrong. But at the end of the day, I can't pick and choose Bobby. But had I could, it would have been Shay. Ooh, Mamadi is just feeling all the tea right now. She feels like Shay should have married Scrappy instead of Bambi. I wonder if Bambi knows this. I mean, for God's sake, they're married. Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming out to Shay Johnson's new release party. I wanted to invite everybody, friends and family. Uh, it's a very special occasion. So make some noise for Miss Shay Johnson. This is the owner of the label, Legacy Records. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yes. Nice. Get up yourself. So she heard a snippet because he didn't finish the record, but she heard a snippet. And but she's we're like, we're close, right? We're close. <laughs> we uh, I don't know. Uh, I, don't know. Close. I don't know what's happening right now, but the CEO for Carly's label is talking about the demo that I 
did with Carly, that's not even completed yet. Like I was just in the studio freestyling a demo. I will finish the song when I see that Carly takes her career as an artist seriously. I feel like she want to do it because we're friends and she know that I love her. But when it comes to my artistry and being an artist, I don't play with that. I think before that may have been the story, but this is to show how serious she is. She has money and you have too, so this is nothing for you guys to put together. So this is not proving anything to me. I can show you better than I can tell you. When's the record? It's on done. I do. I did my part. I told you. Let's sit and eat and talk because I feel like we have a lot to discuss about this. She can do whatever she wants with her career, but when it comes down to my career, the song got to be perfect and done. Do you think she's serious? Do you think she's really serious? She wanted to do the song with me for two years now. You sent me the beat. I give you my part. You still mm -hmm. hasn't finished the whole song. You I go to the studio with you five times. Girl, I'm done. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Not that many times. Now, that's too much. Spice, I'm going to play a little snippet of the song. But it's not ready yet, Carly. It's a snippet. But it's not ready. I know it's not ready. I'm excited. Let me I'm not happy. How dare you? How could you do this to me? This can make or break me. Like, this is like a career sabotage for you to play my demo in front of everybody, the public, the media, the blogs, everybody's here. Plus, I'm working on to be Grammy nominated this year. So I can't afford for anybody to hear enough about my league song and have any bad press. Until you're ready to be a real artist, I'm gonna be out. Where does Spice go? What are you doing out here? I'm about to leave, because I never want to really create a scene on you out there, you know? But I don't know, I don't know about that song that we have. Like, I don't know if you're really ready. And you take it for joke, and you just appear the song, and you're not ready, and you just, you I know, know. It, it, I just wanted to play a snippet of it so people could see. I, I'm just excited about it. It's, it. I love it. Like, I just wanted to do a song with you forever. Carly, not better with a foolishness there. You're going to kill the song before it even ready. I'm excited. excited. Like, I'm, you're, you're excited for the wrong thing. Charlie, cut the No bad with that something there. I just always want to do something with you. But you're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's not ready. You should have played yet. You should have played yet. My feelings are really hurt right now, and I feel really disrespected because now I feel like she don't want to do a song with me. And I was so excited, and I really wanted people to hear something. I just wanted so bad. Just say you don't want to do a song with me. This right now so mm. I really be in the house like she getting me back <laughs> oh I know that life I had, I, I'm like I had a fiance that was incarcerated Listen. I don't think anyone would ever understand what it's like being in a relationship with someone who is incarcerated but I feel like Yandy is somebody who I look at and I, I'm really inspired by her and her marriage and everything that they've overcome like that's my I'm gonna take that inspiration like, I don't really like talking on the phone a lot, so having to just communicate through a phone, it's like... So, let me tell you. In the beginning, I hated that. I hated it so much, and I hated it even... My husband wanted me to write letters. But what I can say, looking back, that's the most intimate we've ever been. Like, now I've appreciated Being on the phone, there's no interruption. The person is so... Like, I'm so into him. That's the only time I get to spend. And every every concern, everything that matters to you is like, what it's like. 
everything is hurt. Everything is magnified. If somebody hurts you, it hurts him. If, if someone makes you happy, it makes him right, happy. Right, right. Because all he has is to be there and care about what you got going on. I'm sorry to interrupt y'all. Y'all sound like y'all having a good talk. <laughs> but I need to still ready for two seconds. Okay, go ahead. Two seconds. <laughs> But myself, like I really want to. I'm just thinking, like, what you gonna do? And it's right now. And we don't know. It's true or not? So, yeah. I don't know this lady. I don't know if this lady lying. I don't know if she's telling the truth. I don't know. If I tell what is going on and what happened, the wedding will not happen. The wedding will be completely off. I feel f***ed up about it, too, and I'm not even you. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheer it!